well, it's finally about to happen. The thing Susan Collins and them told us would never occur. They're going to overturn Roe v. Wade. No, she said they wouldn't do that. The, the people that manipulated the highest court in the land to include a character from The Handmaid's Tale, no, they promised us all they wouldn't do that. You're telling me the Republicans would just lie to everybody like that? But after a leak last night, we know it to be true. Well, I bet you Greg Abbott ain't stopped firing six shooters into the Texas sky ever since the news came out. He must be so excited. Just down there handing out lassos to all them pregnant woman roundup posses he's been working on. What a shit show. People will die as a direct result of this decision, y'all. 100%. Because I think we all know anybody that wants an abortion badly enough is still going to get one. The only difference is going to be whether or not you have the means to do so safely. All right, rich people, they can get on a plane, go to a sane state or some mountain country, get an appointment with Dr. Von some shit, make a weekend out of it. But if you're poor, it's going to be a much dicier proposition. All right, they've long sought to make it illegal to be poor in this country, and this is a major victory for them in that regard, even if the decision, much like the party itself, is nowhere near as popular as they would like you to believe. The majority of Americans do not support this, and I'm willing to bet a lot of the ones who say they do would be singing a different tune under the right circumstances. I say that because I went to college in a very Christian, very conservative part of Tennessee in the mid-2000s, all right? And buddy, the only thing that our right aids moved more of than four low was plan B, all right? Because like some people say about atheists and foxholes, ain't no 20-year-old anti-choice when the sun shines on a college party, okay? I don't give a fuck what church you go to. I'm just saying, if this bullshit had happened 20 years ago where I'm from, there'd be a lot more Michaela's and Phoenixes graduating from high school right now, okay? My mom and papa working two jobs well into their 70s to support their ass. Actually, the ones graduating would be the lucky ones. Most of them would have long since gotten strung out on drugs, be dead or in jail because they were forced to be born into a society that had neither the desire nor the capacity to support them. That's always been the shit about this that pisses me off the most, how... One ideology can both so fervently love a fetus, but hate a child, depending on the circumstances of their birth. I'd like to see a comedy sketch that takes place in the GOP neonatal ward for poor women. We go in there, there's all these doctors gathered around this lady having a rough labor. They're worried, what, we might lose the baby. We gotta put our heads together. We gotta figure something out here. And then finally, you hear the baby cry out. There's a sigh of relief. Oh, it's a miracle. They're wiping sweat from their brow, hugging each other. Oh, thank goodness, we did it. And then one of them's like, oh shit, it's lunchtime and they just throw the baby in the fucking dumpster and go to Chick-fil-A because that's how they are. I'm focusing on the poor people aspects of this because that's more my lane. Forgive me, I don't feel entirely qualified to discuss the myriad horrific implications this has for women in this country, although I find them abhorrent. One thing I will say, if you think they're going to stop with restricting their rights, you're out of your goddamn mind. This is just the first item on a very long list of rights these people will gleefully restrict in the name of freedom and small government, all right? And you don't have to be gay or transgender or Muslim to be included either. If you have a modicum of rationality, a sliver of dissent from their party line, then eventually, if no one stands in their way, they will come for you too. I guarantee fucking tea it. This is the clearest sign of that in 50 years. And the only conclusion I can draw from it is, I guess we better start standing in their way then. That's the only silver lining I can try to find is maybe this will be the rallying cry, the motivation needed for the left and hell the center too, to show up in the midterms and send the message we are not trying to live in a puritanical hellscape, okay? Because if we don't, then we might as well all start getting fitted for pilgrim clothes and forgetting how to read, okay? Because with them in charge, the only direction we're going is bass backwards. Love y'all. Hey, YouTube, what's up? Uh, feels weird to do a YouTube thing after that, but I guess I'll still do it. There's going to be another video pop up. There's going to be a circle. You can subscribe to the channel. That would be cool. I do a bunch of these, do a bunch of other stuff. And then another channel or another circle where you can come see me live this summer. That'd be neat. All right. Love you like chicken. See you. Bye.